What's poppin'? It's your girl Tasia, and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like and comment down below what you guys think. Brows are already done. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch my brow tutorial after you watch this video, though. Don't click off this video to go to another one yet. You're gonna stay on this one as of right now. Yes. Miss Iconic London. It's the Day to Slay eyeshadow palette. It has a mirror on it too, which is nice. The colors, I like how all of the names are on the front. And it's a very warm, warm, warm palette. I don't even know where to start. Oh my god. Oh shit. So I'm gonna go in with Berlin and Taupe de Taupe? I don't know. Berlini is actually what it's called. That one looks pretty nice. And it's actually blending really nicely. It's not causing any kind of weird demarcations or nothing. But there is a lot of fallout in the pan. But at least it's in the pan. It's nice. So how are you guys doing? What's been going on? You know, we're all in this quarantine together. So what have you guys been doing during quarantine at home? <laughs> going for you. How you feeling guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Looks good. Yeah. I think I want to deepen up the crease more. So I'm going to go into that deep soul which is a dark color and hope. And these colors blend pretty nicely. Okay. Okay. That's all there. So now I kind of want to like do something I don't normally do and I want to cut my crease because I feel like that will look better with this base I put down for the eyeshadow. You know? I'm a little scared about cutting my crease because I don't know. We're just we're just playing, you know. Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna like cut that right there. Not all the way through, but just like that, you know, just like that. Alright, so I just decided to put my base on my face while these eyes are still drying. This Juvia's place concealer, man, that takes forever to dry. So I decided I'm gonna take the Merlot. Mondays and just dab that in. Ooh, pigment. Okay, some pigmentation to it. And I'm just like really just dabbing it all in because I don't want the product to just be moving all around. For the most part though, I really do like the shadows and the color payoff though. Looks good. I'm not really getting any kind of fallout at all, which is nice. I even feel like the colors are paying off exactly the way they are. That works. Hey now. The darkest color in the palette. Ooh, there's a little bit of fallout there a little bit of all out there right when i thought i was going to wipe this off my face you want some and lose some so to make sure that it's not like falling out everywhere i'm just like lightly dabbing the color that looks cool i'm kind of like taking it just in slowly ever so slightly that side came out so much better mm -hmm. it's like the concealer still too wet on that side oh i'm not sure do i want to do champagne chic peach fizz or icon I think I do peach fizz and icon. First, we're gonna take some peach fizz. You know, peach fizz. Ooh, I feel like that enhanced it so much more. Like, look at this versus that. Look at this versus that. I like that. I like that. I don't like baking, you guys. I really don't like baking. So I don't want that on there anymore. All right, you guys, finish look. Yes, I like it. I like how it came out. It came out nicely. Lips as well. What brand is this? Like, Queen? I'm really not even sure. Wifey is the color. It's from Queen. Queen? 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 I don't know, you tell me. I like the color, it looks nice. Looks really good, it's like a nice pretty mauve and it's um, matte. I put some lip gloss on under it so it wouldn't dry out all the way because it does get pretty dry. Like I put this little dock, it's still there. Like I'm pushing pretty hard to get that to do anything. And I even washed my hands and it still stayed there. So um, lip stain really does last for sure. But the eyeshadow, I feel like it came out so good. It is looking a little crusty right in here, but that's not the eyeshadow's fault that's more so the fact that my eyes keep watering it's just making that happen so that's just kind of really annoying but other than that and i honestly just think it's like creasing like that just because 
because I put too much concealer on my eyelids before doing, you know, the little cut crease and situation here, but I don't think it has to do with the shadow itself. Like the shadows play off really nice, but scrunches. And then hair, if you care, beauty forever hair. I like the shadows. I think they're really nice. I think that they blend well. The color payoff is good. They have really nice pigmentation. They are really easy to work with. They're really easy to blend and I like it. Get it, get it girl. Iconic London, you did that. Let's see how much is this. I have no idea because I didn't buy it. Oh wow, oh wow. Definitely was not expecting that price point at all. So it's like, okay, this was a really good palette, but was it worth the price? Okay, wait, wait, actually, before we even mention the price, there are 20 shades you are getting in this palette, right? Yes, you're getting 20 shades in this palette, like 20 shades. On Ulta.com right now, this palette retails for $58. $58, Hante, $58. And on the back, you know, it says that there's glitters, shimmers, and mattes. Hmm. Honestly speaking, I feel like there's just shimmers and mattes. I wouldn't really say that there's any um, glitters. Nothing really is very glittery to me. Even the um, inner corner colors there for me, I feel like they're like really pretty nice shimmers, but I don't feel like they're glitter. But they have a very nice, like what do you call it, creamy texture to them. And they all feel like really good. Like they would actually blend so nicely together. And the fact that you're getting 20 shades that are all really good quality and really good colors I do feel like the price point is worth it would you spend your coins let me know I'm not a hundred a hundred a hundred percent sure let's keep it 100 don't really know if I would have saw this in the store and been like oh let me go and buy that $58 I'm gonna buy it like that's all up to you and honestly all up to what I, I needed in my palettes you know because I this does have a lot of colors and a lot to work with and a lot going on with this palette. So honestly, I may actually pick it up. Like, cause this, this girl boss even right here, like this girl boss right here. Ooh, baby girl, this is so pretty. I wish I would have worn that. But you see, it's like a very like creamy texture to it, you know? It has like a shine, like a very, very nice shine to their shimmers is how I feel. There's nothing in this palette that I feel like is glittery. I feel like everything has a nice shimmer and a shine to the shimmers, you know? But all of the shimmery ones I'm touching, there's no there's no glitter to them. And the mattes are really good because even that, like, ooh, look at that. Like, that's the nude. And that's very nude. Like, I just did one little whoosh, Nothing extra. Like, okay, you'll see. You'll see my finger, right? Finger marshmallow. Swirl it. I'm gonna do one little shh. Let's see. Yeah. And that's like the lightest part of my skin and I can still see it. So it has really good pigmentation and really good color payoff. So um, ladies and gents, are you gonna spend your coin? What do you think? Do you think it's worth it? Do you like it? But let's see how much this baby girl is. Cuvine. Okay, so Cuvine Wifey Matte Lipstick Stain. Let's see, let's see their own website. It's $17 on their own website. $17. Baby, back a pay. <laughs> $17 for the lip stain. I really like the lip stain. I'm not sure 100% if I would spend $17 on it. Probably would. I like that. Okay, guys, tell me what you think down below in the comments. Would you spend your coins? Would you spend $60 and pretty much $20 on? On this liquid lip stain and this eyeshadow I probably would spend my money on these items because I like them and they came out really nicely on me if you're around my skin shade they're gonna come out just as nicely on you and even if you're not my skin shade I feel like they're very pigmented to the where they're gonna show up very nicely on our more chocolatey Mona Lisa's our darker skin girls out there so yes get it girl spend your coins do your online shopping because we're all inside quarantine and there's nothing to do anyway so might as well buy something for yourself and make yourself feel good you know that's what i do thank you guys so much for being here it's your girl tasia make sure you subscribe like thank you so much for being here